So for 34 episodes, we've been discussing everything that goes into your waist up wardrobe. But have you ever wondered what are the options out there for waist down wardrobe? Well, look no further because there's a wide variety of comfort clothing. That's what I call it, comfort clothing. And we're going to be exploring and I'm going to be taking you on a journey and a hunt for all my favorites and all ranges of price points and variety. So you got to stick around. Oh, and uh, and we'll also be talking about best fuzzy slippers, like a lot of the bunny slippers. So if you want to find out what I found, you're going to have to stick around and we're going to share all that in just a minute. Welcome to Waste Up Wardrobe. I'm Christine Vartanian, a civil engineer and attorney turned personal style expert and image consultant. As the founder of Jade for All Seasons, I am passionate about unveiling the inner confidence of my clients by developing their personal style. But is getting dressed up still important in our virtual world? Well, that's where my experience can help with what I call Waste Up Wardrobe. Waste Up Wardrobe is a podcast for all things you need to conduct an outstanding Zoom meeting. It's about how to dress for the camera, but it's not just about the clothes. It's about everything you need to know to show up on brand and professionally for the camera. Join me in the Waste Up Wardrobe studio to discuss how to navigate this virtual world and dominate from behind the desk. Welcome, Virtual Nation, to another episode of Waste Up Wardrobe, where you will find everything you need to know that goes into having a successful and professional online presence. Waste Up Wardrobe is everything you need to know that goes into this Zoom box while you are teleconferencing. And we talk a lot about all different topics on Waste Up Wardrobe, and we take it from all different perspectives. Today, we're going to do something slightly different. We're going to talk about, well, what are that those comfort clothes that you can utilize from the waist down? Because really, the idea is you want to be comfortable when you're seated at your desk for so many hours, and you don't necessarily have to be wearing your full suit. So before I go there, I just want to say thank you to my super amazing producer who's always in the production room making this whole set and this whole production go round and he is super awesome rick moscoso and i'm so grateful for him and he might even be making a little bit of a guest appearance because we kind of want to know from a man's perspective what um what is the most comfortable clothes you can wear when you're stuck at your desk for as many hours as he is stuck there <laughs> um Okay, drop comments in the box because we want this to be a dialogue. We want to be able to exchange ideas. And if you have anything you want to ask, please do that. We're going to be giving you a lot of good information today, a lot of practical links that you can go and order right off of right off the bat, right off of the show. And they'll always be living in our Facebook page. So you can always use this as a reference guide. In fact, my thoughts are that this show, because it's very product heavy in terms of where you can go to find certain things, use it as a reference guide. Just could it put it, maybe pin it to the top of your page or, or save it or just kind of keep the link somewhere because whenever you're going to need something comfortable to invest in, it's a good place to look first for options. Okay. We're not, we're on iTunes. So download us, subscribe to us. And if you're willing to um, give us a review and a rating, we would love that. I'm also on every, uh, most actually um, social media platforms like Instagram and Facebook we're on YouTube and LinkedIn, so check us out there. Uh, check out wastestepwardrobe.com or our my overarching business, jadeforallseasons.com. All right, now we will talk about today's topic. The first thing I want to say is, you know, what really is waist down wardrobe, and what's so? Why do we? Why did I design a whole show around that? Well, because. This idea of working from home or working tele, tele, you know, uh, on teleconferences and not being in a physical office has given us this new dress code, if you will, uh, this new dress code of kind of dressing um, differently on the top than we would on the bottom. So we want to explore all the options. Now, the criteria for dressing waist up is, of course, to show professionally, to have camera friendly colors, to have things that aren't too distracting. But what you wear waist down needs to be super comfortable. It has to be your comfort clothes. So that's how I see 
waist down wardrobe and it's really just geared the objective of it is to be super comfortable um so let's talk about about gentlemen first because we're going to tackle all these categories for men and women but i'd love to brick rick uh, bring uh, rick on now i'm putting him on the spot and talk to him a little bit about what he likes to wear when he's in his office teleconferencing and on camera for hours upon hours is are they shorts are they sweatpants are they tracksuits what are they rick tell us well whatever's the most comfortable um that's within arm's reach that's usually what i grab so <laughs> you know no no ser seriously most of the time i have um uh adidas track pants because uh, they're nice and loose they're cool they're comfortable once in a while i will wear the thin I don't even know what you call them. They're they're kind of fleece, fleece like. Yeah, uh, yeah. My girls gave me that for Christmas, and I have uh, several pairs of those. So, whatever's loose fitting keeps me cool. Um, I typically don't sit in shorts. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that's just a skin against the leather seat thing. I don't know. But for yeah. me, that's that's not my preference. I like to have my leg, legs covered and just have that kind of warmish feel. Yeah, like in a cocoon. That's how I feel when I'm at my desk. I just want to feel like I'm in a cocoon, especially in the winter, right? You know, yeah. there's so much going on under the desk here. You know, you got the heater, you got the puppies, you got, you know, you're, you're bundled up. Um, yeah, so I totally get it. And I understand why shorts aren't the preference, especially now that it's a cold season, right? Yeah. Um, but, um, you know, you have you ever um, seen uh, football players or just athletic teams, they go for their monthly or, or their annual pictures and they're wearing their shorts on the bottom with their full suit with tie on top just to take the picture, oh, yeah. right? That, yeah, that exactly. is classic waste <laughs> up wardrobe. Mm -hmm. And um <laughs> And, uh, you know, so so, of course, we're going to talk about a lot of these things and a lot of these situations that we find ourselves in um, in this real uh, virtual world in so many areas. Uh, how about shoes? Do you wear shoes or how, how do you stay comfortable? Uh, once in a while, I don't have them here, but they're like they're I can't remember the brand, but they're like Uggs. Um, yeah. They're slippers. They're, so they're nice and fuzzy in the inside. Yeah. Um, and they keep my feet warm for some reason. The, the floor here in my office is colder than like the ambient temperature in the room. And and so I like to keep it nice and warm. Uh, yeah. So those do the job. And I usually wear socks when I have those on, too, just to keep it extra warm. Yeah, I mean, I, I I feel the same way. I mean, sometimes you need the added layer because I, for some reason, my office is also cold. It just happens to be at the very end of the house. And so it's really nice to have um, that double layer, especially in the winter. But I have to say, men are much simpler than women, uh, When even when it comes to waist down wardrobe, even when it comes to things that, you know, don't aren't really showing because we, um, we like comfort. We, we like everything. To happen in in one piece right we want the comfort we want the affordability we want the quality we want it all so um thank you for giving us your perspective i will be sharing some other um options for men waist down and adidas um sweatpants is one of them the track suit so that's uh that i'm i'm I'm, in, I'm glad that you brought that up so my research was correct and what i've heard is <laughs> is you know is right on so that lines up okay. all right well i'm gonna get into waist up waist down wardrobe for women and the first thing i'd like to talk about are leggings i mean i feel like leggings are the most popular um comfort piece of clothing that women um, invest in because there are so many great options for leggings. There, There's, um, you know, ones with design, there's elevated ones, there's ones that are just basic, they're stretchy, they're comfortable. So it really meets a lot of the qualifications that we need when we're talking about waist down wardrobe. So comfort and um and that they're stretchy so you don't have to feel like you're being you're like really they're tight on you they just kind of form to your body which is a really nice feature and nowadays we have so many companies <clears throat> reproducing um leggings in so many different forms ones with pockets ones that have fleece lined ones that are knit ones that are you know uh shiny other ones that are metallic i mean there's so many great options out there and we're going to explore a bunch of those so 
I um, I'm going to go through a couple of great options, and I'm going to start with things that are really budget friendly because I think sometimes we just want to fill a need. We don't want to invest a lot in them, and um, and so for that reason, I'm going to start with sort of the budget friendly leggings. So. It's amazing how many um, how many the wardrobe styling in that you can find the pieces that you can find on Amazon so budget friendly. Now I wouldn't say they're the highest of the highest quality because they are budget friendly a little bit and and but sometimes you'll hit like you know you'll you'll find something and it'll be amazing and you'll like order five different colors. So um, just for practicality's sake, you know, I thought we'd talk about um, a popular Amazon yoga solid legging. And so this is this one right here. We will, we're going to be putting all the links in our comments. So this is stuff you can refer to. It's a reference guide. Feel free to share it and to use it yourself. So uh, these are solid yoga leggings that you can find on Amazon, and we will have the corresponding link, of course. But they come in so many different colors. That's why I thought, you know, super basic, many colors. You got, I mean, I'm talking like maybe 50 colors. So you'll have to check it out on Amazon to really see the the broad spectrum of colors that they offer. And then there's this other one that is a compression compression legging, which gives you a little bit more um, of a hold, which is really nice sometimes. And it has the pocket feature where you can put your cell phone in and use. And also, you, this can also be found on Amazon with the corresponding link and everything will be living on the page, of course. And so, you know, we know that comfort is king. We really need to be comfortable when we're seated at the desk. Another amazing, comfortable pair um, are on Amazon is this one called PJ Felina. I guess that's how you pronounce it, but also really great muted colors and really, really comfortable. And um, that's something that we're really, it's kind of higher on the priority list, especially if it's waist down. The other one that I thought was interesting on uh, Amazon as well was uh, a fleece lined legging. Imagine having a legging that it's totally smooth on outside, but on the inside, it's fleece and cozy and warm. Perfect for winter and fall and uh, just gives you that real sense of, of warmth and comfort. And so that was a really great find uh, when I found it on, on Amazon. And then, um, you know, say you want sort of a sportier look. You didn't want like a basic legging. Adidas makes this legging that has the three there, you know, they're trademarked three stripe going down the side and it looks like a little bit of a tracksuit, but it's not. It's actually a legging. And that is also something you can um, buy off of Amazon and we'll put the link in there as well. So. The other one that I found in terms of leggings for for the ladies on Amazon was sort of the denim look. You know, you can get a denim look legging and you can see it here. Everything's being shown on the screen if you're actually watching uh, this episode visually rather than listening to it. But also, um, again, everything you can refer to the Facebook page and get the links. But the denim legging is great because it gives you a little bit more of an elevated look. It almost looks like a, you know, it's like a jegging and you can get it in blue, you can get it in white and you can also get it, I think in a deep gray and that is all um, orderable off of Amazon. So, you know, I also wanted to, before I move on and continue to talk about these different legging options, I want to say that, um, that, you know, Every situation is not suitable for a super casual waist down wardrobe. Um, so for instance, if you're interviewing for a job and you're really just interviewing on the camera, I still recommend wearing your full head to toe professional outfit. Whether if you're a gentleman, a full suit or a women, a, a dress or a skirt, a full suit and um, skirt and blazer, because you never know what happens on an interview. You might have to get up and walk around or go and grab something. And the last thing you want is to be wearing leggings or shorts or sweatpants on the bottom. It does not give a very professional impression. And though we want to be comfortable, there are some some instances where you really do have to you know, let go of the waist up 
and uh, and really focus on being completely dialed in from head to toe. Another instance where it probably wouldn't be suitable to be wearing you know, uh, waist down that is just more of a comfort clothes, but maybe to be fully dressed in a professional attire would be if you if you're, you know, if you're sitting in a lecture with professors, again, an instance maybe where and I'm talking like on the collegiate level, um, it might not be such a good idea to be in your PJs, although I know that is the preferred attire for college students. But, you know, so there are instances where you don't want to be um, dressed um, in, in in comfortable comfort clothes, waist down, you want to really be fully dressed. I just wanted to put that out there because this whole show is all about waist up wardrobe. We understand the concept, but there's exceptions to every standard, right? Because the, you know there are different situations in business that we really have to pay attention to. So I'm going to continue with the leggings. And one, you know, I want to give everybody a, a short a capri version of a legging. And so these capris can also be found on Amazon and you can get it in a few different neutral colors. And some people just prefer to have the capri length. And I personally like the ankle length, but a lot of people do prefer that. And if you needed a pair like that, this is a great pair to seek out on Amazon. So these ones I just covered right now are, you know, very budget friendly. I mean, we're talking anywhere from, you know, $15 to $30 at very at most. But, you know, if you want to elevate, if you want a better quality legging or a little bit more a luxurious item, there's so many great legging companies out there. And I'll tell you, some of the top brands, I'm talking like high-end brands, like, you know, um, uh, uh, Gucci and uh, we're talking super high end. They are actually making leggings, but they are about a thousand dollars a piece. So we're talking super high end, the kind of legs that nobody will buy really, but they do have them. So um, there's a, of course higher end that is more reasonable and that we all love. And one of the companies I really love is uh, Therese.com. T E rez.com. We're also going to put that in the comments for you to refer to if you wish. And what I love about theirs is that they have all sorts of prints. If you went online to teres.com and you looked at some of the prints, they will act, they're just so delightful. You have like the florals and you have leopard prints and tiger prints and camouflage uh, prints. This really, really great and a great quality legging that holds you in and makes you feel um, really put together and really, um, really um, comfortable too. Okay, so that's more of a higher price point than the ones you'd find at Amazon, but totally worth the money. They are, um, they probably range from $80 to $100, depending on what you pick, but totally worth the money. I have mine that I wear year after year. They just are, they last so long. And so I really do appreciate um, them. And there is a slide of um, of these leggings that the producer Rick will put up there. It's a there are three floral uh, three options of prints. There's the 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 um, leopard and the camo, and then there's you see uh, there's a, the stripe. So you as you can see the variety of types of leggings that you can find with Therese. So definitely worth the money. Um, the other company that produces really high quality legging at a similar price point is Spanx. I mean, Spanx started out with women's underpinnings and undergarments. And I mean, they are the gold standard when it, standard when it comes to underpinnings and undergarments, but their leggings, oh my gosh, amazing. I wear those out and I wear them when I'm teleconferencing. They are just so comfortable. They hold you in, which will most women really appreciate. And they're not flimsy or thin where you could see through them, which can be a big problem for leggings. So here's one thought. Always make sure that you put the leggings you're buying through, um, through a, a, a sheer test because a lot of times you might see that the leggings that they'll be sheer, especially when they stretch out and they'll show underneath what is, you know, under your, 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 it'll show your skin. So you don't want that. Um, you really want to make sure that you don't have, that they're pretty opaque and that they're not sheer where you could see through them. That is the mark of a high quality legging. And also as your leggings age, you want to check for that because sometimes you can have a very good legging, but over time, if by washing and using it, 
they will um, thin out and they can end up getting sheer. And sometimes you don't even know it until like a friend is with you and they tell you, oh, your leggings are sheer. So definitely always check for that. Okay. Um, so Spanx also has that price point of about $98 to $120 for their leggings, but totally worth the money, totally worth investing at least one of them. You can wear that with a blazer on top and go out with it, or you could just wear it at the office when you're waist, when you're um, waist up wardrobing on camera. So they're actually really versatile for in and out of the home and in and out of the office um, and for fun too, to, to plan your outfits around. Everybody knows Lululemon. Lululemon is a very high-end uh, athleisure um, brand, and it is really sort of the leader in um, in athleisure and an amazing product and very, very beautiful designs and very versatile. So another one of my favorites. And the money, you know, it, it's about, you know, it's pretty much medium um, price point. Uh, again, sort of in that 100 to $130 range. But again, very much worth the money. So one of the ones I'm going to share that is not of you know that I I love. It's a, they have they carry it at Nordstrom's. It's called Onzi O N Z I E, and I love that brand. I love it's very thin, which I like, but it's also really firm where it holds you in. And they have beautiful patterns, and there's something just about the way they're made that feels uh, very um, secure when you're wearing them. They're not sheer, which is very important. And they carry them at um, at Nordstrom or Nordstrom.com or even at Onzi.com, O-N-Z-I-E.com. So I did, I was featured in the Newport Beach Magazine. Uh, oh, there's Onzi. There's a, um, a picture of what the website looks like. And as you can see, not only do they have leggings, which is what I buy from them, but they have other athleisure. They have sweats and shorts and, and their fabrics are just so amazing. So um, that is the a little scroll of the, of the Onzi website. Look at that. Le they have a leopard two-piece short and sweatshirt. I love that. So another really great lounge weekender wear. You, you can't really wear the top on camera, but you can certainly wear the bottom. Okay, so I did a. I was featured in Newport Beach Magazine of fall in fall 2020, where I did a piece on loungewear and how that was becoming so critical right now that we were working from home and people were really, you know, um, utilizing their athleisure more than anything else in their wardrobe. So that link to that magazine um, uh, article will be also placed in the comment box. It is, uh, you know, it was about luxurious loungewear and where, what are the best of the best out there and why people are now really transitioning to that. So look that article up because there's a lot of really good information on where to search, seek out the best brands and how to use it because it's not just for exercise anymore. Athleisure wear, leggings and sports wear is really um, now, you know, you wear it in your home office, you wear it out sometimes if you pair it with something that's a little bit more professional, like a blazer with leggings, or even a blazer with great shorts. So there's a lot you can do to mix and match the, um, the dress code of thoughts. This is what's so amazing about waist up wardrobe and waist down wardrobe. We're now taking casual wear and mixing it with formal wear and vice versa. So that's, um, it's, it's actually a very interesting style trend and, um, it's getting a lot of traction and it's very comfortable and stylish. So it's a, it's a good direction. So next I want to talk about sweatpants because that's another choice for people to use if they were stuck at the desk and they want something comfortable. Sweatpants are great. And like, they're like joggers too, are great for men um, and women. But for men, it's like Rick mentioned the Adidas um, uh, sweatpants, and those are really popular and they're very comfortable. Nike also makes a Nike fleece that is really, really great. And Tommy Hilfiger makes a great one as well. So there's a, you know, those are three top brands that really produce some really great sweatpants for gentlemen and uh, paying attention to comfort and looks at the same time. This other company that's a little bit more um, high end in terms of budget is called BuiltBasics.com. BuiltBasics.com has sweatpants, but it also has these lightweight pants that you can wear every day. 
and you can flex it. You can make it more dressy and you can dress it down. So that has become one of my very favorite new companies uh, called build, uh, build, uh, builtbasics.com. Now we're going to move into some sweatpants for women. And I'll tell you what, Target is one of my favorite places to go to find fun sweatpants and t-shirts, actually. So they have so much selection at some amazing price points, and it's just so worth it to go and check that out. So Target is a really great place to, to, to fall back on if you don't know where to get some really practical sweatpants. But I also want to mention um, that on Amazon, you can get really great price points for some sweatpants. This one right here is, again, a fleece-lined uh, sweatpants. So we looked at a fleece-lined legging earlier, but this is a fleece-lined sweatshirt, and that is a sweatpant. And it also um, is on Amazon, really well-priced. And um, this other one next to it is a Terry Fleece jogger. Um, and that is also from Amazon. Um, we're going to be putting those links in, of course. And then there's um, the velour um, pants that you can wear. They're like track suits and they are super comfortable. They're just like sweat suit, uh, sweatpants. And we have a slide to show you for that. Um, that is also purchasable on Amazon. And um, they come in all these different colors, including the pink one that we have a slide of. And um, and we'll be putting that link in the box, the comments as well. Now, if you wanted to just, you know, elevate and buy a higher priced, um, higher price, better quality sweat, sweatpant, PJ Salvage makes some really great designs and for comfort and just really great designs, you know, like, you know, tie dye and all sorts of designs and so, so comfortable. So um, that now that we um, I touched on PJ Salvage, we're going to talk about actual pajamas, but PJ Salvage does also make just sweatpants that are not necessarily PJ. So I just wanted to make that distinction because you can go on their website and find both options. So let's move into pajamas for the ladies. And some of the best ones, of course, like I just said, are PJ Salvage ones that are just comfortable. They're, you know, moderately priced and, um, and they last a long time. And uh, the other one that you can find on Amazon, so that, you know, as you can see here, there's that um, like tie dye one. Um, but on Amazon, you can find these sets of um, like plaid pajamas. They come in packs and that is on Amazon and the link will be in the, the box. And then there's this other one that you could see on the screen. It is a Jersey material, very lightweight, very cooling, which women love. And um, you, you know, we wouldn't be wearing the top on camera, but definitely nice to have both. <laughs> and then, you know, you could just take off the top and dress up for uh, pro your professional camera appearance, but have your pajamas on the bottom. And this one's, a, it's called the Everj um, Giselle. And this is a little bit more money. Um, and it's also on Amazon, but it is super comfortable and a wonderful um, addition to your pajama um, wardrobe. So also on Amazon, you can also find some tie-dye um, pajamas. So as you can see here, there are some Amazon tie-dye options and there are multiple colors. So this right here, what you're seeing on the screen of the blues and the pinks and the yellows is just one colorway, but there are so many options if you visit the link. And finally, the best fleece pajama that I found on Amazon is, you can see a picture of it right there. We're going to be putting up the, the link to that. Also a really great option for those warmer, um, when you need the colder weather um, options, you know, it's, it's winter or fall and you need the, 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 the cool, the ones that keep you warmer. So, so that's all Amazon. We talked about PJ salvage as a higher price point. I mean, all the Amazon as well, a budgeted, well, a, well price pointed um, pieces, but you know, LL Bean carries some great PJs and J crew carries some great PJs. And some uh, women who actually, I was having a conversation with a client the other day, and she said, I just wear my nightgown and I throw my top on it. And I love that. So there's an option too, I guess, for waist down wardrobe. And um, Nordstrom, of course, carries some really great nightgowns and night shirts that you can uh, wear and um, be really comfortable in. Okay. I want to share though, the role, what I think is the Rolls Royce of comfies. 
And that can be found at a site called nakedcashmere.com. Naked Cashmere is really made of all cashmere, 100% cashmere, and they uh, market everything from dresses to, you know, tops to two piece um, uh, jumpsuits, but also this idea of a comfort, comfort clothes, lounge wear that you can easily wear as waist down wardrobe. And it gives you that super luxurious feeling. Now, you know, you don't feel like you're wearing your, you know, regular pajamas. You feel like you're really sitting in luxury, which is sometimes a really nice thing to have. So that's a Rolls Royce of comfies. It's called, uh, you can look up that, uh, nakedcashmere.com. And we will put all of that in the comment box. As you can see, this is a very um, product heavy, um, he product heavy uh, episode, but it's purposely done that way because I get so many questions about, you know, you're talking so much about waist up wardrobe, but like, what do you, do you, you invest in to be comfortable? And right now we can see the naked cashmere um, website on. And if you scroll down, uh, you can see like all the comp iterations that they create. So what you're looking at right now is sort of their sweatpants options. You can go down and you see how they have the two piece loungewear, um, all cashmere, um, even with shorts um, for the gentlemen as well. They have cashmere. It's really a robust selection. And it has everything that you would actually need there for comfort. So it's a really good, um, it's a really good place to go and explore. As you can see, the the you know the capris. I mean, it is a really great resource. So keep that on your resource um, list and definitely check them out. Um, so another thing I wanted to mention is I uh, also uh, I'm, a, I'm a brand ambassador for Etc. Clothes, and they have a whole line of, um, you know, loungewear, weekend wear, basics, essentials, including everything from the underpinning, the tanks to, you know, the the. the t-shirts to the long sleeve t-shirts you could see on the screen right now we're showing you some of the camis and as you peruse through the essentials you'll see comfortable leggings you'll see these um toppers are all um knit toppers a very thin knit a jersey almost like a jersey but very cooling which a lot of my clients love that. They love this idea that they could just throw these pieces on together or mix and match all the neutrals and have this easy um, comfort loungewear at home, weekend wear, if you will. So that is another really good resource. And the, the link there is etc.com. Um, at, it's my personal stylist page. And we will also put that in the chat box, in the comments for you to peruse through when you are, when you have time. So the thing about et cetera and their loungewear, they are so comfortable and they're so lightweight and they're just so cooling. What That's one of the, the main things that people really enjoy about them. And so our conversation would not be complete if we don't talk about slippers, the best slippers out there, of course, and including fuzzy slippers like this that are like have little bunny ears just for fun. And these particular ones are made by Steve Madden. These are the ones that you'll see me in my uh, graphics with. It's uh, it's it's actually I actually kind of hijacked those from my daughter, but I love them and uh, they're mine now. So um, and so here are some options for. Um, you know, for shoes that you can wear, um, you know, slipper, uh, slippers that will keep your feet warm and also be fun. So uh, one of my favorite companies, Bombas, makes these slippers. Um, well, they actually started out by making socks and they are a great company because they give back. They are, um, that's what has contributed to their huge success is that they're, they give back and it is such a popular company. They also make these gripper slippers and you'll see it pictured in, um, in the, on the screen right now, they're gripper slippers. They fit like little uh, slip-on um, slippers, and they're very, very warm and cozy, and, and the company is a great company, so definitely worth checking them out. The UGG is one of my favorites. I know Rick mentioned something similar to that that he uses, but uh, the UGG is a really great product. I mean, it's very uh, well-made. It is. Um, it serves really all those purposes of warmth and grip and, 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 um, and sturdy it's just a really high quality slipper and my favorite one is pictured right now on the screen with the the 
the you know the the rim and um the shearling rim and the brown slipper itself the brown suede um then nordstrom has been making some really fun um fuzzy slippers because obviously it's the era of fuzzy slippers you can find those at nordstrom.com you can find uh these really soft furry slippers um in all different colors and also what I, I had to put in there, some bunny slippers. And we're going to be putting those, that link in the chat. The bunny slippers are from Amazon, the ones that you see on the, on the screen. Mine are Steve Madden. They are a pretty, you know, they're from a couple seasons ago, but you never know. You still might find them if those um, attract you. The other Ugg slipper I wanted to share is these right here that I'm picturing. I'm actually holding it on my screen. These have become super popular. So this is like a cross between a slipper, but also a, a shoe that you could wear out. They have like a solid sole. Um, they have these little straps that you could put on like a sandal and they come in so many different colors. I happen to have the leopard furry one, but there's pink and lavender and blue. I mean, there's all the colors under the sun that you can get and you can wear in and you can wear out of the house. So they're really practical that way. So there's also, I have to give you the Rolls Royce of slippers because some sometimes people just want to invest in that. And birdies.com is a company that has created luxury flats that are secretly really a slipper. So they are these very luxurious looking um slipper and they are very well made and you might want to check those out at birdies.com and see if any of those um attract you so i um i want to wrap up with the waist up weekly wrap uh, the waist up wardrobe weekly wrap up and so just the major takeaway of course we are you know this is a fun episode it's a little bit of a different direction than we've taken in the last episode but it's so worth it to sometimes think about your comfort and the options that you have so the overarching um takeaway today is really find the things that you're really comfortable in and invest in them even if it is one of those rolls rolls royce brands because you are in it for so so long for so many hours it is totally worth it it's totally worth the money but the good news is there are always lower price point budget friendly options and that was sort of the 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 point of today's show is to give you that spectrum the spectrum of the high and low so that you could decide what's for you some tips you know um always invest in things really that you think will suit your lifestyle okay so if the high end you know cashmere isn't for you that's okay just um invest in the ones that you know you're going to be using not ones that you're going to park in your closet especially sometimes people buy these really nice things and they just feel bad wearing it or they don't want to wear it so they'll park it it's not worth doing that so if you're not going to wear it don't invest in it and if you do invest in something that that is, you know, high quality, just enjoy it, really enjoy it and start putting it into practice. Action items, you know, think about what you would like to on your wish list, your dream list of having, you know, the ultimate comfort. I mean, there's more to waist down wardrobe than just what we're wearing. You know, think about investing, you know, do you need warmth, a heater, you know, uh, just whatever really makes you feel comfortable while you're seated at the desk. Your chair, that's another waist down wardrobe. It's really important. We had a whole episode on yoga moves at your desk and the chair was a critical piece of that. We, You need to be sitting on a firm, great chair that can support your spine and give you that comfort and longevity. So there's a lot more to really thinking about waist down wardrobe than just uh, the clothes that you're wearing. So think about that. <clears throat> and I am offering with the hashtag comfort and shine, a 15 minute strategy session to whoever is interested where we can actually talk about what would be the most ideal comfort clothes for you. So it's a 15 minute strategy session. I uh, just put the hashtag uh, comfort and shine. If you listen to this on the replay, I'm going to leave it open for until the end of the day. And I'm happy to jump on a call and give you more ideas or really to, to customize what is really going on for you that you need help with when it comes to your wardrobe when you're at home. And <clears throat> I just want to say that, um, you know, when you're thinking about um, living 
you know, every day to the fullest. Um, and when you're thinking about really maximizing um, your your best potential and and being um, and being successful, comfort is really important. It's part of your self care. So this may seem like a, an episode that doesn't you know is is not superficial maybe, but it's not. Your comfort is key. Comfort is key to being successful, to to being productive. So really think about that and invest in your comfort. So I hope you enjoyed this fun little lighthearted show today on Waste Down Wardrobe. And I hope you get a chance to peruse all the links we put up there and maybe even invest in a few pieces so that you can build up that Waste Down Wardrobe. But as you know, we are here every Thursday at 1130 Pacific Standard Time with a new episode episode for you so that you can build that amazing professional and comfortable and enjoyable <clears throat> online presence. Okay. So join us next week at the same time, same place. That's 1130 Pacific standard time on Thursday, where I'm going to be discussing healthy eating at your desk. I'm going to be giving you tips and tricks of how to stay healthy when you're stuck at your desk for hours and to so that you can avoid bad snacking and I'll give you tips on how to actually make that work for you. So, do join us and if you're so inclined, invite one of your friends to join us too.